Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, gonna knock out part two, what I like to do with these hot takes videos. We'll do these every, you know, four months or something like that. Um, this was a particularly good time after the Worldwide, right? We had new event power creep, um, very controversial celebration, right? People um, really... You know, bringing up like, oh, or no item runs pointless. You know, people should be using items. Like, there's actually a lot to talk about. So this was a perfect time. I like to, you know, gather up. I mean, we have, at, at the time, I guess I'm recording this part too. We have 925 replies, 346 retweets. So a lot of people are saying stuff. Um, so I like to do an hour for part one, hour for part two. Uh, I still have uh, where we left off from the last video. So we can continue on. Um, I just got done with a nice little exercise, so let's jump in. Alright, uh, this celebration sucked. No, it didn't. That's wrong. And then before all the content, yap, 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 yap. Well, I mean, this does matter. And to be fair, all I heard all year is there's no content. I heard this all year. We can't pretend like that did not happen now. Doesn't mean shit when it's copy-paste with higher numbers. Again, this is sort of true uh first form cell was a great fight but then goku black and the zamasu fights didn't really mean much but i think that there is different fights in the gods and mortals event and then the red zone fusion zamasu fight is also a different fight so just saying copy paste with higher numbers is also not correct um and then trunks sucks ass in his own celebration i don't agree that he sucks ass at all um could he have been better yes is he the 500 millionth you know, big damage character who is RNG heavy on defense. Yes. Right. But like, does he suck? No. Thanks to the way content is structured. Uh, well, no, because the thing is right now, the hardest fight in the game trunks is very runnable and pretty damn good in that fight. Because he has type advantage in the initial phase. So, yeah, he takes 100k from Zamasu's AoE, but a lot of characters are taking 100k from Zamasu after they attack and get their defense. Like, I don't, like, Trunks is good in that fight. So, like, this just isn't true. And then these, these copy paste fights with higher numbers Goku Black and Zamasu, Trunks attacks first, and then. I mean, if the boss supers, they could kill him, but, like, that's Trunks' weakness. But even, I mean, go red zone Zamasu, he has type advantage at the start of the fight, and then maybe you could do your Sword of Hope standby, and then the Goku Black fight, you are weak at the start, of course, against SCR Goku Black, who's very threatening, but then he has type advantage at the end. So, like, this is just not even, like, this is just, like, completely way off. Everything Deku is saying here is... No offense, Deku, but it's very stupid. <laughs> very, very dumb. Um, a lot of this is just, like, outright wrong. Easy A's are ass. Again, stupid has hell. Uh, we're going to act like future Gohan socks. EJL Zamasu socks. And no part two villain solidifies it. I mean, no part two villain is a bummer, but... Yeah, no offense, Deku. Deku is funny, but uh, this is... Come on. Let's... Uh, this is bait. Gotta be. Gotta be bait. I feel like there was one other thing I was gonna say, but we'll just um we'll move on. We'll move on. LRP Loff will be villain Bulma. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Uh P Loff. Uh let's see, the world tournament is next weekend. So we'll uh we'll see LRP Loff. Some iteration of P Loff is gonna be the free the free to play world tournament LR. The last LR Jackie Chun was pretty good, so. We'll see what Pilaf's going to look like. I don't know if he's going to match up to Bulma, because that would mean a free-to-play LR would be a top three unit in the game, but we'll see. Eh, worse things have happened. Oh, that would actually be very good. Most disappointing EZA ever. I feel like that's not true. Um, damn, but, like, can I prove it? Can I think of anything worse? Let's, let's continue reading. His base form is unacceptably bad. Yep. His transform form while good. Is it? transformed form while good is this transformed form good i don't even know if i i don't agree with that does this transform form even do anything special the answer is no all right so sure baseline 
I mean, this is not... I wouldn't look at this line and go, that's good. I like this, but no defense for some reason. And, like, this is okay. Like, this guy isn't even... Like, that's the thing. Transforming into this guy isn't like, oh, you won. Like, it's like the Vegito Blue character. I mean, yeah, what's new Dokkan Fest LR compared to Easy? Sure, right. But, like, you transform into Vegito Blue, you win. You transform into full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you win. Uh, like, even future Gohan, like, uh, you transform into tr transform, f like, he's got huge damage reduction, and he could do a lot of damage while being pretty defensive. Like, you know, in future Gohan goes toe to toe with Omega. This guy can, uh, if you have perfect RNG. Like, nah, like, this guy's just ass. Like, I don't even, I don't even agree that his transform form is good. No way. Just isn't enough for most end game con Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, this guy. I mean, if you're going to say, it, is he the worst DZ ever? Nah. I mean, it, no way he's worse than in Angel Golden Frieza, right? There's no way. I mean, we could say dis he could be the most disappointing DZ ever, though. Because, like, Angel Golden Frieza is not on the same hype level as Goku Black. I would have to... I feel like this isn't true. But at the same time, I can't think of one that's more disappointing. Can I think of an EZA that people were more upset at? I don't think I can. This might be correct. This line right here. I I mean, people had Goku Black trending. Toei tweeted about Goku Black trending, but it was because people were so pissed about his EZA. So, I mean, that very well could be true. Uh, again, I mean, I, I mean, I'd love for this guy to be good, but I mostly don't give a shit at all anymore because I, I would argue this guy's pretty good. I mean, sure, he's the kind of character I don't go too crazy for. He just does big damage. You know, he can get killed by a super attack. But, I mean, this is... If this is what they're going to give us for Yellow Queen LR ECAs, we're in good hands. This guy's good. So. Uh, this one future Red Zone, some of the worst design content they've ever made. Um, let's finish reading. Pretty much the same fight, copy and paste it five times. That's not true. With minor differences while making a majority of the game unrunnable in the new stages. I don't talk about their fight very much, but, I mean, it is a little different because they have the key blast notification, right? Let me double check that. Am I remembering that wrong? I, the Android's fight is not really relevant so much. I mean, I don't want to make my point in that this Android fight is structured a little bit differently, but, I mean, it is. Um, Let me see. Yeah. They... Yeah, they nullify key blast super attacks, which is something, right? So you have that. Again, two, three, and four are the same, pretty much the same fight, but five is different as well. Um, so it's like, like when they say it's the same fight, copy paste it five times. Like that's not correct. This is where people are just kind of like they begin to, uh, like embellish it. Like it just gets wilder and wilder as people say it, right? Like it's, um, the fusion Zonsu fight is not the same type of fight as like Cell. It's not the same thing at all. Um, but, I mean, could you say the Fusion Zamasu fight is the worst design fight ever? I mean, I would probably push back on that too. Dude, Broly is just way more toxic, way harder than this guy in like every way than Fusion Zamasu. I mean, Broly cancels dodge. Dude, that AoE super from Broly, like on release, you actually couldn't get by it unless you used items pretty much. Like, it was, you know, it took weeks to no item Broly. I, like, I get people's frustration, but I just, like, bro like, Broly just happened. It was 2022. Like, it's not, I mean, well, I mean, I say just happened, but it is about to be two years, I guess, but uh, Broly is just like, way worse than Tsumasu in every way. Uh... LR Krillin and Gohan have one of the best pre EZA kits in the game. Um, I disagree. I I have to disagree with this. I don't. I thought their kit was not that great when they came out two years ago. So I'm gonna have to disagree. I mean, I guess if we're gonna if we're gonna just say that Dodge is good, like I'm on board. But no, no, I'm not very high on them. Um, 
Okay, I would say this is the worst thing anyone has said so far. Uh, can say no offense, but I, I, this is the worst thing we've seen thus far in this in 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 this tweet right here. This is the worst. This is just like this is a a frog take from last year. This is like some. This is the type of shit Vector was saying last year, man. Uh, this like no, dude, no. Um, I like. I, can we pull them up real fast so I could just like talk about this, like. Hold on. Uh, since this would probably only just be two, right? They'd be right here. Yeah, here they are. I evaluate based off of the hardest fight in the game, Fusion Samasu. 100%. Right? Like, that's that's the first fight I'm looking for. You come out turn one, and this character can get slapped. Definitely true. But... LR Future Gohan could take a lot of damage turn one. Like, against Fusion... Like, it's... It's not like this is not a, a this character problem, right? They build up permanent damage reduction with every super attack they do. So it's not even like they're definitively like a slot two character or something like that, right? Like you, as this, the hardest fight goes on, this character go, can go and does work really well in slot one. They become a slot one character in the hardest fight in the game, right? They build up this damage reduction. And uh, they're one of the best characters to run against Fusion Zamasu. I do it all the time. And we're going to go right back to this video. This is why this character is top five. Because they do something special. Look at this turn one right here. Seems like a pretty good turn one. We got some of the best characters in the game. Let's take a look at the end result of this turn one. This is what we go into the second turn in terms of our HP. Right? Like, Vegeta and Trunks are good for this fight. LR Future Gohan is good for this fight. Trunks is, is, is good for this fight. We, we got a good opening rotation, and look at the damage Zamasu does. He's just that strong. And then, oh, oops. What happens here, do you guys wonder? Oh, yeah, we revive, and then we get full HP. Here's what turn three looks like because of them. I, I just, like... I... You guys can't find a clip of me calling the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions bad. Right? Like, you can't find a clip of me saying that. Like, j like, I'm sitting here telling y'all, just because these guys are, I think they're bad for the Omega fight, I think they're bad for Fusion Zamasu, I'm not saying they're bad. I, you can't find a clip of me saying that. I, I've been saying this consistently all year, right? Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're bad for the worst fight, which definitely does suck, but they dominate a lot of this other content, right? Like, it's, I, I, I almost would, like, put special points to characters who really can dominate in these hardest fights in the game against these AoEs. But I don't then call, like, these guys shit. And this character, it's not even the same thing. I, they're weak defensively before they attack, like 99.9% .9 of characters. But it's not a consistent thing. You get a nice triple super turn one. They can eat Fusion Zamasu super attack turn one. I've had them do it. Not even for that bad damage. To call this character a fraud, this is just completely based out of touch with reality. No offense to Kensei. But this is just like, like, this isn't even, I, I, again, this is something we would have heard from, like, Vector last year. Vector has improved dramatically. I, I don't really see the same level of nonsense from him. He still likes to go off the deep end a little bit, but it's not, like, this is just like, like, this is so far removed. Like, I don't want to go on and on and on and on here and be rude, but... Like, this is just completely incorrect in every way. I, like, if, if this character is not top five or not good, then no character is. You're saying Orange Piccolo is good and every other character in the game is bad. Oh, boy, Alan. Uh-oh. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. I don't want to be rude to Alan either because here's the thing with Alan. Alan will start talking about Ultimate Gohan, and you just gotta, like, from now on, it's just like, all right, old man, like, yeah, man, you, you knock yourself out. I'm not even talking about Ultimate Gohan with you. Um, but I don't think Alan is actually that bad if he's not talking about Ultimate Gohan. I will say this. It's like, he starts talking about Ultimate Gohan, and it's like, bro, like, what did I do to deserve this in life? This community has a minor, major, oh, he's saying whining problem. 99% of Twitter chooses to moan arbitrary things rather than issues that could actually be fixed. 
Oh, he's actually right. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay. All right, okay. Oh, oh okay. Whew. All right, Alan. Thank you for backing up that point. Yeah, again, if he's not talking about Ultimate Gohan, a lot of times, like, Alan's, he's not usually talking just complete bullshit. We could take this. I mean, I feel like this, like, it. I agree with people being upset with this. It makes sense. But people just kept carrying it on. I agree. If future Gohan had shitty animations and was a bad character and stuff like that, I would be more on board. But again, Goku Black was not going to be an LR over Trunks. Trunks is locked in. Vegito Blue, Zomasu, and Trunks are locked in. The last, the kind of like question mark spot was what ended up being future Gohan. And like future Gohan is perfect. So it, it's like, yeah, I'd love a villain, but that one flex spot, future Gohan, was perfect. It's an incredible release. Awesome Dokkan original animation. He has great... Every animation for Future Gohan is good. And he's super powerful. Top three character in the game. So, it's like, yeah, guys, I love Carnival Goku Black, but Future Gohan was just a W across the board. An LR hit does not save Kale. Okay. We need a Khalifa specifically. I think you're running Berserk Kale safely until turn six. You're crazy unless hit has the most busted domain or support ever. That's probably true, huh? Let's look at Kale again. I, I, She's on page one. So, we could turn into Berserk... Like, so, Super Saiyan 2 Kale is Majunior, God Goku, God Mo 23rd, World Tournament Goku level. She is. I don't care what... You could argue with me all day long. She's on that level. Super Saiyan 2 Kale, specifically. Berserk Kale, though... I mean, 60% damage reduction is good, but she's not getting defense here. Which will hold her back from going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest bosses, which are turn one. To be fair, though, I mean, she would handle herself well against Goku Black with type advantage plus the damage reduction. Because that's essentially guard plus damage reduction, right? That probably is true, though. Because, I mean, people, if you want to try and talk me into Kale and Khalifa being good... You're talking to a brick wall. Kale and Khalifa suck. Right? Sorry. It, it is what it is. And I don't... Like, people will go, Oh, they're good for Omega? Uh, no. They're good for Omega with really good RNG. Like, no, sorry. Kale and Khalifa suck. So... Yeah, that is probably true, huh? Hit could be the best unit in the game, and that doesn't automatically mean Kale is fixed. We need a Khalifa. Khalifa could get a Dokkan Fest, though. It's not gonna Khalifa's gonna get a Dokkan Fest by the time Kale ages out, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Bummer. Bummer. Link skill system as a whole is terrible and should be overhauled. So many characters killed by having bad links, it's beyond acceptable at this point. Legends doesn't have this problem. Why should Dokkan? You know, I'm inclined to agree here should be the system should be overhauled in some way yeah i think so in legends you really can get away with just running cell kid goku and android 8 or something right like you with the leader skill side the, the problem is it's like it like le, like dokkan really could be like legends is a pvp game so like people are going to be trying to to kill each other you're trying to win Right? Like, Dokkan, like, we're PvE. I mean, if they could do something, I don't even really have a great idea. I mean, I don't think, like, like removing the link system doesn't seem realistic to me. But overhauling it in some fashion would be really good. I would love to see people come up with ideas. W what is an idea for overhauling this system? Because Cell is an example of a character killed by links. Right? Cell. Um... So I'd love to see a, a link system overhaul to me sounds like a really good idea. It does because it makes the game check this out more fun. <laughs> Imagine that shit. Yeah. Uh, what? Get, no, stop this. Ridiculous. No, that's wrong. Kid Buu needs an LR. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Orange Piccolo's giant form is valid when... Ugh, God damn, we're doing this. 
Orange Pickle is shining for him as volatile rating units he shares steam with. It's no different. Have access to supports like LR Bulma. Yes, it is. Are you kidding me? If Piccolo can protect the unit when they're vulnerable, does that make them a stronger option on that setup? Sure, but they still have the weakness. I, dude, Trunk, I mean, all right, so the point we're making is Trunks. Trunks can die turn one to a super, man. Trunks, like, Trunks ain't just going out there A-OK -okay because Orange Piccolo is there. I mean, if we're running a full superhero setup, Orange Piccolo could go into Orange Piccolo on turn three, right? But, like, I don't, that doesn't take the character's weakness away, man. And it's like, Piccolo is giving characters support. Like, Orange Piccolo is literally removing the boss's ability to super attack. Like, I don't... It, it's not the same thing. And I don't like this argument of, oh, Orange Piccolo can theoretically, you know, go into his Orange Piccolo transformation mode, which causes the bosses to not be able to super attack. So now, Beast Gohan is a million times better. Trunks is a million times better. Th this argument specifically is more so for, like, superhero characters, right? So, we could use this for Gamma 2, Sword of Hope Trunks, uh, Ultimate Gohan. Y you'd want to be looking for, like, weaker defensively superhero characters is where this is, is made for. But I think it's bullshit and garbage. No offense to True Son here. But I, I, I hate this. I hate this. I've always hated it. I think it's stupid and ridiculous to say, oh, Trunks is better because Orange Pickle just canceled the super attacks. That's ridiculous. Nonsense. I think it is. Uh, transfer... It's, bro, it's not nowadays, man. We've been sick of this for years. Years. It's been unfun. It's been unfun. I'm I'm so done with... Tra yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm so done with transforming characters, man. I, just, they transform with the intro. Bam. That's all we need. Yeah. I mean, but... At, yeah, sure, but keep in mind, STR Cooler is literally one of the strongest characters ever on release. STR Cooler, the day he came out, was, oh, he was a wow release, right? Great animations, unbelievable power, he was busted as hell, STR Cooler. He was so crazy. But yeah, bro, I'm done with transforming characters. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, this is wrong. They suck, period. Wrong. No way. Their standby is too good, and you could do it right away. If 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 it was locked for many turns, sure, but you could do this turn two. They could literally be in turn two, and you could pop it. Now, I mean, they're not as strong if they don't get a chance to stack up, but saying they suck, period, is wrong. Saying they're aging as bad as Evolution Blue Vegeta, like, that's... People tend to get a little too caught up in like agendas and stuff like that you can be wrong it's okay it's okay people this is not a dokkan community thing it's just, this is people in general in in the world in general it's okay if you're wrong they're not aging like evolution blue vegeta that's not correct their standby is too good it's too powerful i mean maybe you could say i mean their their standby trunks standby and full power super saiyan 4 goku standby are all fighting with each other like, you can't do all three at the same time, but that's just not correct. And, like, I, like I'm like i wrong, too. Like, I, I, I was a little too harsh on, like, the sub-easies right away. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, like, they're all mid. Like, you know, using them, it's like, nah, they're pretty good. I mean, this this is what they're going to give us for sub-easies? I'll take this shit. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, people, I would plead with people to try and listen to what people are saying. At least. It can kill them, yes. But, like, I mean, take, you take them into... They're, they're good for the Red Zone Fusion Zamasu fight. I mean, a character that's good for the toughest fight in the game, and we say they suck, period. Like, you can't I, you can't do that. Uh, this is, See, like, this is not correct. No. I mean, yeah, this, is, this was stupid, but... I, this is a good character. Uh, like, they have a problem... Like most characters do, right? This is probably true, but 
Um, I mean, this guy, whew, even in the new fights, he could take a lot of damage, even through his guard. I'm telling people right now, guard and damage reduction don't mean nothing a lot of the times. 17 and 18 have damage reduction, the new Dokkan Fest, and then they'll just take a million through the damage reduction, right? Same same thing can happen with, like, God Goku. This There's a good chance of this, but... I mean, we'll see. It's... The thing is, all three of them, I mean, Piccolo Jr. is kind of just stats. He does have, like, his giant transformation and stuff, sure, but for the most part, I would say he is sort of just stats. And then 23rd World Tournament Goku is a little bit quirky. I feel like 23rd World Tournament Goku, he could have a huge drop-off. If there's not a ready, easy revive for him, 23rd World Tournament Goku could just become shit overnight. It's possible. This is likely, but we'll see. <clears throat> We'll see. The other thing I'd add to, I'm not holding out hope that the rest of the Dokkan Fest TURs this year are even going to be that good. I will say this. So let's see. So we'll get another one probably on like the 31st or 30th. We'll get another one probably like the 29th or 30th year. I am going to assume that New Year's this year is going to be Dokkan Fest TURs. Last year, I think LRs for Superhero was a special thing. I do not think LRs for New Year's this year is going to happen again. Um, but it, it could be, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be TURs again. Well, one thing I would say is a lot of the animations have been pretty shitty this year. Animations certainly have taken a downturn. Which could lead me to believe that New Year's could end up being LRs. Because remember, it's like, if they were working on less animations, they would look better, right? Like, that's obviously a thing. So, if, if animations across the year seem a little iffy, that, would, to me, tells me they're making more animations, which causes the overall quality to dip a little bit. So, like, you know, an LR, like, transforming LRs, right? Like, the Vegito Blue character, intro, 12 key, 18 key, transformation, 12 key, 18 key, active skill. Like, that's a lot of animations for one character. Maybe, maybe New Year's will be LRs. Content isn't even that hard. People are complaining about the fusions. Also, fight fodderizing most of the game. Fodderizing most of the game. You want a joke on YouTube? What's the difference? You using two Weeses versus a Wee Broly? I mean, yeah. I mean, people could use items again. I would advise people to do what is most fun for them because the game should be fun. Um, I mean, I would say that like fusions monster is a very hard fight. Like, I don't agree with that. I mean, if we want to say Broly was harder on release, yes. But I don't agree that the Fusion Zamasu fight's not that hard. It is definitely hard. Um. Hmm. So Prime Battle LRs are horrible for the game because they serve to steal white characters that would make awesome Dokkan Fest. This guy is going to be a Dokkan Fest anyway. Like, I don't... Uh, that doesn't matter. This guy is going to get a Dokkan Fest. Maybe not specifically this moment. He's going to get a Dokkan Fest. First one Freeze is going to get another Dokkan Fest. This is the guy. Dr. Wheelow. Yeah. Dr. Wheelow. Are, do we think we're getting another Dr. Wheelow, man? That's... Um, I thought we were going to talk about how the grind is that bad. And it's really not that bad anymore with, with um, Auto. I mean, yeah, it's still soft. I mean, it's, I'm not overly defending it but with auto i mean grinding in dokkan is not that bad people who want to cry about grinding in dokkan are just like i feel like looking to cry because grinding is just not that bad like maybe like some of the easy areas where like you don't have like you can't do auto because you're on half of a leader skill or something like the lr krillin easy area or something but like i mean i don't know is it really that hard to just press turn auto on and then watch a youtube video i don't get it but that's not, I mean, that's not what the point of this was, but, um, I mean, certainly they could be better at like this point is good for Dr. Wheelow, but the rest I, oh, we'll still get to Uh, yeah. I mean, again, people are not here in this video to hear me talk about Dodge. Dodge build is definitely the best thing for this guy because he already is. We'll just quickly talk about the merits of like defense on this guy versus offense. But I, I'm I, I won't I won't harp on it long. Um, the point I want to make with this guy, right? 
He's already... Where is it? Uh, why do I not see it? Hold on. There it is. He's super effective against all types already. So, I mean, crits will still do extra damage, but it's not as important. And then additionals are not as important on this guy because he's already got a bunch of additionals, right? Like, like that's the thing. This is where people just get too obsessed with damage to, like, a comical degree. And, like, I, I would argue it's, it's hurting, like, the potential of these characters, right? Like, this guy is already, you know, doing all this damage and doing all these additionals. Characters that have an additional here and an additional here and, like, all these additionals, they're more likely to proc the hidden potential system additional already. Like, a guy like this, this guy doesn't need 30 additional because he's already got a bunch of additionals built in. He doesn't need 30 crit because he's already got a bunch of crit built in. And also, at the same time, there's a flaw in people's argument because they'll say, oh, well, he needs to build up, so dodge build sucks on him. And then I would say, okay, so now we are acknowledging that the dodge works then, right? Because if dodge is taking away these stats, we're acknowledging it works. But this doesn't matter. I mean, you are going to win more often off of dodging if this guy doesn't have guard up or if he dodges a super attack compared to this. Do you guys see what these buffs are? It's 10%. I mean, this can add up, but you understand that this still procs with a dodge, the bigger defensive buff down here. Like, people, no offense to people, oftentimes don't know what the fuck they're arguing about or talking about. They don't put any thought. They just say dodge is bad, and they put no thought into it, man. Anyway, moving on. Enough about dodge. Uh, this year for Dokkan has been really bad. Too many flawed characters who get no help. Content feels very repetitive. I disagree with that. Uh, we have not got a single long fight all year, barring maybe Omega, who's average length. No, it's it's a long fight. It's That's... That's definitely a long fight, man. Um, Omega takes quite a while to get... Th it depends. It, it can depend because the first phase of him, you could blow through it very fast if you bring a lot of int characters who do, like, way extra damage to him. Or it could go pretty slow. STR Omega into int Omega, they are very tough. That oftentimes is a 10-turn fight. That's not average length. Now, bad, flawed characters, 100%. But content repetitive? No, I, I don't agree. I mean, maybe we could say there's a bunch of AoE bosses. 8th Anniversary Sin, Omega, and Fusion Zamasu. But, like, Red Zone Cell Max is not a repetitive fight. Gamma 1 and 2 is not a repetitive fight. Red Zone Cell is a good fight. That's not a repetitive fight. Like, no offense to a lot of people, but they don't put a lot of thought into some of these. Like, they're not thinking about these things too much. Like, like, the content repetitive shit, I'm going to push back on this really damn hard. Because it's not it's not true. We're saying characters are bad. I mean, Kronos could have said that animations have been inconsistent, and he would have been spitting. That's what you should have said. Characters have been flawed? Yes. Animations have been bad most of the year? Yes. Those are, those are correct. I know Kronos is a big, um, I mean, look at the Rose right there. Big, like, Fusion Zamasu fan and stuff like that. Rose, Goku Black. Like, those types of characters. So, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I've, I've seen their tweets around. Um, like, like for them, they would be really bummed that, like, you know, TUR Goku Black was very underwhelming. We got no Carnival Rose. But the LR Rose was really good. Ejil Zamasu was really good. And Tech Fusion Zamasu was really good. So, they did go three for four out of the Goku Black family characters in the celebration. Um, but the content is not repetitive. It's just, we, we got First Form Cell... Goku Black and then Zamasu and people have are having they're having a months long meltdown over that, even though it's like the content has been good this year, and content has been better than ever, and there's been more content than ever. Oh boy, dodge builds are needed. They really consider addits or additionals or crits. Fuse Zamasu is a very fun fight. Um, it's very challenging, which to me is fun. But I do understand why people say it's toxic, and I agree with that. But again, I have fun in the challenge, and it's a challenging fight. Blue Cow Ken is arguably, arguably still the best CZ TUR. <sighs> He's certainly better with the androids now. Um, I don't... AGL Zamasu is pretty good. He can get killed turn one, though. 
in future Gohan is quite good. Maybe, maybe. I mean, this guy is better with the androids now being a thing. God Goku is very underrated. Is he? I don't think I could say God Goku is un- No, no. People know how good God Goku is. I don't, I don't agree that he's underrated, I don't think. Two more? Let's see. Uh, defensive play styles and builds can be super fun, too. So the defensive units are a boring thing. Yeah, winning is fun to me. I Like, I get it. Um, Like, it's valid for people on both sides, right? Like, what is fun or boring to you is fun or boring to you. So I get it. But to me, I just personally don't agree with the defense slower is, is boring. Like, all offense, big damage with high risk that could lose is not more fun to me. And it's it's not, not always faster either. Like, if a slow defensive team will win in one try in 15 minutes, is that really much slower than the offensive team that could beat it in five minutes, but it takes three tries? Like, that's another point that, like, people who go offense, 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 offense don't really acknowledge. Um, but both are valid, of course. Although, remember, if, if we're going to try and, you know, like really evaluate these characters, uh, defense is always better in the long run, and it always ages better. Like, it's always been this way, and it's always going to be that way. So keep that in mind. Offense units are worse than defense units on 9% of the time. One thing, though, to keep in mind is that offensive characters these days typically are not just raw glass cannons, right? A lot of times, they are more so balanced. I mean... Both, like, defensive characters could do some damage. I mean, Vegeta and Trunks on, like, their active skill turn with their guaranteed crits if they triple super, like, they could do some decent damage, right? And they're definitely a defensive unit. Offensive units with a good turn. Trunks is an offensive unit. Sword of Hope Trunks. I mean, if he gives you a quad super, he's going to be pretty tanky. And he could even give you a quintuple super if this is up. If this guy quintuple supers, he's going to do huge damage and he's going to be very tanky defensively as well. So, I mean, that's one thing he might is that many of these characters are sort of balanced. Uh, I do want to get into um, Chainsaw Man. Super Trunks sucks. I agree. But that's because they made the content away from him. If there was like actual longer fights, Super Trunks would be better as well. Um, I don't agree this is the dumbest thing they've... Like, I get it, but with how awesome future Gohan is, I feel like that should have cooled people off a little bit more than it ended up doing. Because, again, great animations, great kit, stuff like that. They set their expectations so high, and when expectations weren't met, they started to get a mad heart. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, oh, okay, but but this... Dokkan community is far too toxic. Every community is toxic. Like, this is not a Dokkan community thing. I don't... I, I, I'll always push back on that. Everyone said League of Legends is so toxic. One Piece fans are so bad. Um, you know, I what's another one I've heard? I, 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 Call of Duty fans are the worst, right? Like you're gonna hear this about everything. Like it's not. And but this is true. People set their expectations. They gas themselves up into the heavens, and then they get mad when it's not met. That is correct. Yeah. But I don't agree. I I mean, I it's valid why people were upset because Dokkan treats villains terribly. But future Gohan was was very well done. Uh, Ryudin agrees, yeah. I mean, I think Dragon, a new Dragon Fist is gonna go so hard. We're gonna get, you know, Dragon Fist as, like, a Dokkan Fest LR or something like that. That could be New Year's. Super Saiyan 3 Goku for New Year's again. I'd be down with that, Dragon Fist. That'd be cool. Haha, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking this is probably correct, yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yes, but almost... Everyone agreed with this? I saw, like, one person ever disagree with this. Like, this is just pretty uniform, isn't it? Uh, sure, but again, I mean, we just... Every community gets like that. Oh! Um, I could tell you that they can't. They can't do heroes more often. I could just tell you that. They can't. They're not able to. Uh, new short style content sucks. Made a good amount of characters straight up unused. Well, it's not really new, though. I mean, the Cell Max fights weren't that long. Um, it's when Red Zone first came out, those fights were all marathons because our characters were so bad and the bosses were so strong. 
Good amount of characters, straight up unusable. Yeah, but I mean, that's, pff, bro. We're talking about seventh, seventh anniversary. You had 10 good characters in the game, right? Like, uh, these fights could be better if the fights were longer. Sure. Overall, it's not as fun to fight compared to other difficult content. Um, Omega is certainly a f more fun fight. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll agree. Sure. Worst summonable unit animation since 2021. Nah, the ROF blues are worse, aren't they? I mean, I think the the blue Goku intro for the ROF blues is really good. That, like, if I do an updated intro tier list, that ROF blue one will probably still be very high near the top for me. And there's, this one might be, I think that uh, the Kaioken Goku and Great Ape Vegeta are, like, the worst. I don't know. I, they're so fast and so meaningless. This one does suck, too. How's my day going? It's good. I took a nap. I recorded part one. I went and exercised. I'm recording part two. It's a good day. Good day. At least VB has insane animations, which he does, yeah. Um, okay. This is probably true. The The way these fights have gone is for this guy's favor, right? Like, this guy is guarding, guaranteed the first couple of turns. Then he's got the key blast nullification, right? So, yeah. Uh, f That's the thing with Fusion Zamasu. You know, we've talked so much about how it's toxic and stuff like that, sure. But keep in mind, you can nullify uh, Int Fusion Zamasu as a Key Blast Super Boss, and Physical Fusion Zamasu as a Melee Super Boss. This guy nullifies Key Blast Supers, so he can nullify Zamasu's attacks. Um, So you're either biased or not using the character with the release of the short events. Easily a top 8 LR in the game. I don't know that I'd agree that he's top 8. Can I? Um, Hold on. All right. He's not better than Bulma. Don't even talk to me. Uh, Gohan, them, Orange Piccolo, Zamasu, the Blues, Trunks. And no, like no, like no. Uh, like I, I, I'll, I'll back you guys up and say, yeah, future or er, um, Ultimate Gohan now Beast. I mean, he's in a much better spot. Like he, he fits rather well against this content. But like to put him above these characters is no, 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 no way. I wouldn't like do like they're guaranteed dodging and shit like that. Like I, I'm not putting him above them. I'm not putting beast above them. No, like I, he's a fringe contender, like beast top 15. I mean, we're, we, we could probably, I, I mean, we could probably have him at like 12 or something like that. Like, yeah, but I mean, top eight, like, no, man, I'm not putting him above like super Saiyan for Goku and stuff. Like, no way. No, I can't. No way. No, 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 no. Um, real fast before we get into it, his design just it's too trash. Like, like, like needing the supers to build up and then just supers and then normal, normal. Like, I'm so tired of. That. I'm good on that. Uh, wouldn't mind Akatsuki given the Doka Mess restrictions if they gave us the tools to work around them. Yeah. So like, if Kale got some good Universe Six help and better Broad Big Bot. Yeah, yeah. Super Trunks, or, uh, Super 17. Uh, well, Super 17, he's a little different. He's not restricted by characters that could just help. They kind of just gave that, uh, him a shitty kit. I, I, I mean, bro, I, we took Super 17 in there against Fusion Zamasu. And it's like, bro, like, pff, this guy was just dead meat out there. At, transform Super 17 is not half as good as people pretend he is or think he is. He's just not that great. Super 17. But the rest, yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, if Kale got, like, like LR, Kale, and Khalifa were super good and, like, Frost was super good, and, like, Kale would be a lot better, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Stop. Yeah, no, he's not worse than Trunks. Stop. Ridiculous. Um, okay. So, remember how we got the Dismal Future Red Zone? And, you know, fight two, three, and four are the same fight. I don't, like, the hardest fights can't allow you to debuff, because then they're not the hardest fights anymore. They're just not, right? But, why couldn't they have made Red Zone Zamasu hit way harder, but allow us to debuff him? To change it up, I think, yeah. Like, that would be good. 
after SGR Jr. and EZA is here in Red Zone Fusion Zamasu, a stun activates. But you can't, you, you can't, a fight can't be hard if you can stun them. I, I just, I, like, these fights are not tough if you could stun them, man. That's the thing. There's no way. If you stun them, no way. It's not tough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, he's his animations are good. We'll give him that. Uh, Beast Gohan's not a 2023 character. Boo Duo. Here, let's... No. I'm not putting them in one of the worst characters in terms of, like... Like, like how strong they are? No. The... Again, this guy is not 2023, and I, I am pushing back. No, I'm not letting you say that about them. No. Yes. Um, I want to push back on this, too, and say no on this. I'll agree with this, yes. No, this is wrong. No, this is, this is, this is wrong. No. Beerus is good. Um, Android 17 is good. Piccolo is good. Was this year? Blue Kaioken is good this year. Like, like it's not like th this. This is not correct. Uh, th the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions. Come on, like no. This we, we've never had better EZAs than this year. Ever, 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 ever. So many EZAs this year have been insane. Uh, this has been the best easy year for EZAs, I think, by far. You're right on this. You're right on this. But that's two out of a bunch of these. Overall, designs have been very shoddy for a lot of characters, so Like, we'll, we'll, I'll back you up. Yeah, I mean, this is the problem. I think people would understand more of what I say with Super Saiyan 4 Goku if he's out on Global. This is why, thank God, the Global Sync... Thank God we haven't seen any idiots coming in here saying that the Global Sync is a bad thing. Ah, uh, yeah, don't... Do not let me catch... We're going to go for until the hour mark. Don't let me catch one of y'all talking about the Global Sync being bad. I cannot wait until that shit happens, man. Do not let me catch one of y'all trying that. Worldwide was a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, 9 or 9.5. Only two letdowns being Easy Goku Black and, I mean, the, the tough transformation condition. Also, Go Bills. Yeah, I don't know. Milano, Trey White, man. Oh, God. Daquan, the whole team is hurt, man. Okay. Anyway, we're continuing on. Uh, full power super. Sa no, he's not mid. No. Sort of hope Trunks is not top three. Orange Piccolo one, I'll agree with. Top three? <sighs> Please. No. No way. And mid, I can't agree. I I'll put Piccolo at one, though. Sure. I'm with it. Uh, well, yeah. But, I mean, Trunks is a... Cooler is a year older than Trunks. Trunks better be better than Cooler. <laughs> he better be better. But... Yeah, it's not even close. Trunks shits on Cooler. It's not literally not even an argument, right? Um, <clears throat> EZA Rose is better than EJL Zamasu. Because of how the hard content has evolved. So, I mean, they don't explain it well, but AGL Zamasu is really bad first turn. And, I mean, you know, these fights are ending on turn five. So, like, I get it. Um, Zamasu will do better against supers on, like, turn two and three and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, maybe. I mean, <clears throat> LR Goku Black is pretty good. Like, they gave him a good ease. He's good. Uh, amazing start to the celebration, ton of small mistakes, yeah. Soil did a lot, I mean, sure, a lot of small mistakes, I agree. Uh, oh, yeah, way too many of them were short, sure. Community overhates the blue unit Vegito's animations? No, I don't, I don't think I agree. I think they are pretty mid as well. I want to be fair, I think that they're pretty weak. I mean, transform Vegito, his shit looks good. I'm I, like I have no problem with his, but the Goku and Vegeta is bad. Yeah, their kits. 
Nah, I mean, they do have some flaws. They're very strong, but, I mean, they do have flaws. Dodge better than big damage. Sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Dokkan needs to stop releasing these AoE fights. Okay, after Fusion Zamasu, yeah. Like, it's time to go in a different direction. The AoE fights, it's very easy to make these fights super difficult by putting the AoE, but they've now given us three this year. Let's go in a different direction. I agree. Um, you could argue them at 10, I think, but like pretty much just at like 10. Like Vegeta and Trunks are in the, like the, the Beast Gohan group. Vegeta and Trunks, Golden Frieza, AGL Carnival Goku, maybe Int Carnival Kid Gohan. I mean, damn, could you get Rose in there? Could Rose go in that range? Maybe. Maybe it could. Yeah, he really is quite good. The more I think about him, I, I do like him. He's good. Uh, I'm I'm with this. People, like, yeah, like, people, you know, you give your thoughts on the character, stuff like that, but people overblow things so much, yeah, before they come out. That's true. Uh, no, no, no. We can't use this as an argument because Rose gets destroyed by it too, man. This doesn't work. Rose gets obliterated by the AoE. Come on. Like, that doesn't... No, I I'm taking the 5th Anniversary Fusions above Rose because, like, he can't match when they transform and get the guaranteed dodge, right? Oh, I mean, it's going to... Yeah, I mean, dude, he has 80% damage reduction. In slot two and three. So future Gohan, he can have a golden Frieza type lifespan. Not in slot one, but in slot two and three. Yeah, yeah. You look at how good LR Golden Frieza is, future Gohan does the same thing in slot two or three. Yes, he does. I think he's the best TUR. Okay, Goku. Has issues with Chance to Guard. Yep, but when you bring GT2, it's almost a non issue. I mean, I would say it's fairly consistent in my experience. Yeah. You could still get cucked out of the revive, but still. Uh, no. Unkillable is not true with how hard the bosses are hitting anymore. But, I mean, he is he holds his own really well. Um, I disagree, but, I mean, the guy didn't make the worst argument ever. Sure, sure, sure. We didn't, we're not loading. These three are the same unit. Turles, Gamma 2, and... It's not loading. Um... The same unit. I mean, Kid Buu has a melee nullification, and he's just raw stats. With some additionals besides that. Uh, he also needs to get hit to use his AoE. Or, um, not his AoE, his uh, active. If you're not fighting a Boo Saga enemy. Uh, Gamma 2 is a support. Has a nullification. Does a lot of attacks. <clears throat> I mean, there's some similarities, but I'm not saying they're the same. I mean, this guy has a, a support with his intro. He has an active skill attack. Like, I, again, similarities, but to say they're the same unit, no. Let's, we, we haven't looked at, like, uh, replies at all, huh? Uh, oh, well, unfortunately for you, we just talked about him, and I, I praised him, so tough there. Uh, no? What? No. We do have a, a Raditz for this year, and it's... I guess we can close some of these out. Yeah, it, it's not them. Hell no. They're probably going to be a lot better in a couple of months. We, I think we talked about it in part one, but the Raditz for this year is this. This is Raditz of 2023. This guy. Oh, please stop going on so many dodge rants. I'll try. I'll try. Respect, Alan. Oh, damn, Th this comment aged so badly, because I, I did so much of this already. Yeah, I did respect Alan. Dokkan Jeopardy with Goresh would be really fun. 
Uh, sorry, Gojo's a fraud. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna talk about how bad, how I'm the biggest, baddest one around for 50 million chapters, and then, you know, I don't, uh, sorry, he's a fraud. Uh, you could put him at 10, sure, Vegeta and Trunks. Uh, top five? No, because who did I have at five again? I have Zamasu at five. Yeah, yeah, no, they're not top five. He's not top five. He's not better than Orange Piccolo, 8th Anniversary LR, Future Gohan, Bulma, Zamasu, Blue, Goku, Vegeta, no. A lot of people do hate on him. I'll agree with that. Oh, well, you're in the vid, so I guess I'm not a fraud. But, I mean, this is part two, but... I mean, it, I'm going to format these like this. We'll do an hour, two hour segments on the tweet. Yeah, we get it. Uh, Dodge Kirkers are annoying to run, especially on strong teams. They can often become the biggest lose condition on a team. Better to run stronger units. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, honestly, I, I can't even disagree with that. But the only thing about what uh, Fanatic is saying right here, who are these stronger units you're running right now? Like Fusion Zamasu just kills everything. Right? Like, it was... Did we show it? It was in part one, right? Like, we had an opening rotation. Vegeta and Trunks, Future Gohan, and Sword of Hope Trunks. And Zamasu does 600k damage to us. Like, it's... it's Dodge characters are annoying to run. It would be better to run stronger characters, but those stronger characters right now don't really exist. They will, but right now they don't really exist. So. Uh, no, I can't agree. They're... Them in slot one, they're too good defensively in slot one. I can't agree. Can't agree. I can't agree. Too important in slot one, man. Not a lot of characters can emulate how good they are defensively in slot one right now. Vegito can get demolished, but, I mean, I've used Vegito 30 times, and he's died once. So, it's... He can get demolished, but, I mean, if he... Uh, one out of 30, like, I'll take... I will take that. I don't agree that Trunks is better. No, no way, no way. Uh, well, a lot of people do use items, and I mean, it's valid if you use items. Right? We already talked about the item stuff. Uh, sure. Red Zone doesn't allow items, but the characters are a lot better. Yeah, I mean, well, you know what that would promote is for people to... They'd be telling people, you better be summoning, right? So, that would be worse for free players. I don't want to use items of Vegito. I want him to be good on his own. Certainly, I can understand. People have told me a while back that one reason people on the Reddit hate me so much. It's not really because of shit I'm actually doing. But it's just like, I'll talk about stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm very chatty. It's, you know. And then, um people will take what I say and they'll just kind of like push it down a lot of people's throats. And then that causes people to hate me. And like, I get it right. Like that, that actually, at least, you know, if that's why so many of them hate me or whatever, talk about me all the time. Like I, I it makes sense. Um, cause like this, like that, like this is like coming out of my mouth right here. Right. Like, <laughs> um, so 90% of the game luck based. Yes. But to say there is no skill issue is certainly not correct. Didn't we start the video out with Deku? Yeah, <laughs> Deku will show you skill issue. <laughs> well, wait a minute, but this is... Sometimes people don't get the orbs they need for some characters call them frauds. Sometimes skill issue, but sometimes you can't. Okay, sure. Um, There can be skill issue, but 90% of the game is luck based. Like, both... Can be true. There is skill issue, and it is ninety percent luck based. Twenty twenty three was the best. A little content events released on match. Yep, people ignore this because of nostalgia. Nostalgia is a huge problem. Yeah, people talk about like twenty sixteen Dokkan being the best, and like I will cackle. No, not even close. Twenty sixteen Dokkan was trash compared to what we have now. It just is. The game has made so many strides. Right. Yeah, I mean, this is all true. I mean, I really... Yeah, the team is good, but I mean, I would like it to be even better. Um, I personally would say I think 2022 Worldwide was a bit better, but um, Celebration was very good. Very good. Androids could become a top two TUR if they get help. Top two? I don't know about that. 
Maybe. With perfect help, they could fly up. I agree. God, Goku's better than 23rd World Tournament Goku easily. I, I agree, but I mean, there's times 23rd World Tournament Goku's better. Could argue Goku Black is... I don't know why people are saying... I don't, why are people saying this? I, I'm seeing this all... Why are people saying this? I, I don't get it. I'm seeing people say this all over. Like, are we just pretending like... They don't do what they do when they transform? We should pretend this doesn't exist? I don't get it. I, I do not get it. I think people are... are, are like, what are you gonna oh well they are weak to the aoes so is goku black <laughs> like I, I i bro like this is wrong this is capital w wrong no you can't like goku black is really good but like the blue fusions have tools man that goku black does not have goku black has got his um rage mode sure but it's only a one turn it's not guaranteed that he cancels all the boss abilities. It's not. It can, which is very good. But, like, I, he j Goku Black is not better than the Blue Fusions, man. I, I do not agree. No way. Uh, He could be... Sonic Mania. Hmm. I do want to get some more trophies. I mean, we're going into Dokkan offseason. What if I just pulled up Sonic Mania right now? Sure, I mean, what the video's done. Let's take a look. Let's go on a little field trip. You you guys will enjoy this right at the end of the video. Let's take a look here. Let's look at my my trophy site. It's a little weird at the end of this Dokkan video. Let me pull up a Sonic game. Okay, let's go to Sonic. Let's go to the Sonic series. Let's take a look what we got here. Sonic Mania? Let's see. Oh, we're loading forever? Load, 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 load. Okay, let's see. Sonic Mania. Now, this is the one that's meant to be like the OG. Yeah, what if I just buy this right now and play it? Huh. I'm considering it. I might check it out. All right, well, there we go, guys. We did a couple of hours of hot takes. We saw some stuff. We got some good convos in. All the things I wanted to hit, all the points I wanted to make, I was able to hit, you guys did good. I was able to hit all the points I wanted to make. All of my, I don't want to say the word agendas, but uh, all the things, because agendas are a huge blight, a negative stain on the Dokkan community. People take these agendas and they let that shit just completely control them. Um, but points I wanted to touch on were all hit here. So let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys next time.